Okay, so had me a bit of a scenario here a minute ago and wish I had my phone out. I need to get a GoPro. I need to get a little better at this. But the scenario was, if any of you know heifers, I come out to check heifers because I knew that I had one about ready to calve. And let's see if I can show her she's a ways away, but there. That's her right there. Hopefully you can see her. But anyways, I knew she was gonna be calving, so I come out here to check on her. Well, when I got out here, all the other heifers were around her. And lo and behold, twins! We have twins, which is cool. But if you guys know heifers, you'll know that that can be a little tricky sometimes so i mean this with no disrespect towards anyone but it's kind of like a bunch of teenage girls i mean you know how you are somebody brings a puppy a kitten anything little a baby they're like oh my god it's so cute i just want to hug it and love it it's just the way they are so anyways this heifer has twins she licks off the first one it gets up it looks like it sucked it was doing good but it had moved on while she decided, oh, something else is coming out of me. Goodness, what is happening? So she lays down, has a second one. She's over there licking it off, cleaning it up. By the time I get there, it's just getting up, getting ready to suck. And all these other heifers are around her looking. Well, the one that's already been dried off and doing good, it's running around. In the middle of all these heifers, like, whoa, so many nipples whoa my goodness can't figure out which one to go meanwhile everybody's kicking at it it's confused we don't know what to do maybe not quite as dramatic as it sounds but anyways it's a bit of a situation so i go over there pick up the one that's wandering around lost and such and once i get it picked up I try to take it over to Mama. Well, she's a bit hot, and she tries to kill both me and my feet pickup. So that tells me, well, she just don't really want to be messed with. So I figured what I'll do is I just called all these ever other heifers, thank goodness their cake broke, out of her pasture into the one right next to it. That way, she's not confused on the other babies. And her babies are confused on who her mother is. So, like I said before, the least you mess with mother nature, the best it. Oh, say hello, Tick. Tick. Say hello. Oh, good Tick. All right. Like I said before, the least you mess with mother nature, the better. So we'll just leave her in that big pasture there by herself here for a little while. I'll come back and check on her here in a little bit and I'll update you guys. Show you a little video of the twins. Hopefully she's settled down a little bit. She's a little testy right now. So uh, hopefully she'll do it on her own. Mother Nature will take its course and she'll love both. Raise both. Two good babies. But we'll see you back here in a little bit. There she is. Psycho Sadie. And wouldn't you know it? Nature worked itself out all right. My goodness, a bit of a crazy thing. We better leave her alone. But it all worked out. Good to go. Check her tomorrow. See if her temperament has changed. Maybe she'll have a better outlook on life. It'll be a little more pleasant to handle. Day two, Psycho Sadie. Temper has still not improved much, but she's got two babies sucking like crazy. Can't get too close, she's a little flighty, but she's gonna raise them. Hopefully, one of these days she'll let me tag them. Crazy broad. Slip a couple value in her cake, maybe. Super Baldies, they call them. They call them super freaking wild. Just kidding. 
broke to the feet pickup. Just not very friendly when you're on the ground. But good mamas. Can't beat that.